All right, let's get through this real quickly. I love the arts and just mood about this sort of um, product, sort of merchandising sort of theme here. I like it, I like it. It's coming out November 9th, coming up real quick like. Um, and this is the uh, the promo card that comes with this. So this is the basically the, um, the special pack set promo, you know. Uh, again, yet again, this is the uh, the card I was saying in the last video. If, you for, if your opponent has four or more energy and there are battle cards into the... Wow. If they have four or more energy, they have battle cards, and you have none, this is, becomes a one drop. There you go. 20,000 critical. Amazing. Uh, and then the milling effect. So placing two, two from the top of your opponent's deck into the drop area. I love that. I love that. This does go to... Uh, to the bottom of the owner's deck so you get you get to use it over and over and with the sake demon sake whatever um you get to search it right after and then do it over and over again and then combo with that guy oh that is this is a really good card i love it i love it so let's go look at the promos uh right after i think if we go here and not do this uh, i don't know let me look for it real quick I know I didn't. Oh, also, there's an announcement for Goku. They're just. I was. I was. I was gonna be like, oh, they're betting it inde indefinitely, which probably will happen, by the way. Um, uh, but they're th these are just ban periods. It's kind of silly. Like whatever about it. Um, I don't. Whoop, product. Let me just make sure. All right, I found them. Uh, pretty much anyway. I just had to filter it out. But this one is the special pack set. I already went over that. This is the shop tournament. Uh, set five stuff, so that's pretty cool. It's a two drop, everybody's pal Yamcha. Cool. Uh, when this card attacks, looks at the look at the top three cards among the uh, in the wow, top three cards of your deck and choose one earthling. So, uh, I said this a while ago that um, we're gonna get earthling support and as well as a searcher, probably get a seven uh, top seven or top three. We got the top three, so uh, it's a 15k two drop with two red by the way so they want you to play mono red up in this piece if you want to see anything uh demon sword to number dope name also dope uh art i love it critical deflect with twenty thousand, just like the other one pretty cool and it places card at the bottom of the owner's deck and choose one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to the owner's warp and then place two other cards on the top of the owner's deck in the drop area Oh, I love it. I love it. I know this is a four drive and it's kind of costly. I still love it. This is another target for the Janemba and as well as the other Janemba. <laughs> Big Janemba and, uh, and small Janemba, I guess. Skinny Janemba. Uh, and as well as Sake. So, obviously, if you want to play Janemba, you're going to be playing that for one drop. That's for sure. Uh, this is the Hyper Training Super Saiyan Sun Goku. This is a <laughs> two drop 15,000. Also, another shop tournament um, card. So that's cool. Uh, activate main, play or er, activate main, one energy, one green energy. Uh, place this card in the owner's drop area. And choose one green skillless battle card with two energy cost of two or less in the drop uh, in the deck and or drop area and play it. Oh, okay, so you can get a vanilla two drop from the deck or drop area and play it. That could be a number of cards. Uh, if you're playing Vegito again, this is another one um, in which would be uh, kind of good, but the only issue is that this one is Goku GT. So you're gonna be playing maybe Mono Green, which I mean, that might be a thing in the future, but I can't see it even with these these cards here. But uh, next week with all the green stuff, I know that's gonna change because there's a lot of GT support. Super 17 Infernal Machine, that's dope, because it rhymed. <laughs> He's an Android machine mutant, which is awesome to see. He's a three cost, a four, four cost, three specified cost energy. Um, and he has double strike, so obviously he's surgery by, by Jero, and he is most likely to be going to be played in the mono green Android deck. Um, but this ca attacks cannot be negated. Oh, okay. So double strike can't be negated. Nice. When you play this card, you may choose two cards from your hand place in the drop area if you do so your opponent chooses two cards and place in the drop area that is good i like that one right there <laughs> um cool i mean i can't see myself playing uh playing for energy for this guy or in general but i, I mean I, I there could be there could be a time for that um and with mirror you can always awaken and untap too but this is a pretty cool card that's a pretty damn good card
I would just I would just collect them and play them. I'll try, I'll find I'll find a place for them. Uh, Frieza striking back. He's a three drop, uh, one yellow energy, 15k. Uh, another shop tournament to promo. When you play this card auto. Uh, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch into rest mode. Already pretty cool. Doesn't have a restriction, so that's still good. And then when this card KOs an opponent's battle card, choose one of your yellow skillless Frieza Army's battle card with energy cost of three or less from your deck and uh, or drop area and play it. Just like the other card that does a similar effect and or the same effect to play something for free that is a vanilla. Um, this is pretty cool. It does have a clan and Frieza's Army. So uh, thanks Bandai for doing both traits, even though you cannot have it on the universe seven frieza i don't know i mean i i, I guess I, okay cold blow less would make that that deck pretty busted actually but um i mean it's already it's pretty strong but anyway uh so yeah that's pretty cool three class uh three class or less i think uh, the genyu is the frieza's army so that's pretty good right um and yeah okay i'm down with it this art is badass it's three drop critical revived ravager um vegeta so I like that. I think this is, is uh, I want to say, I was going to say Whis outfit, but that's not it. Um, but his, it is Vegeta uh, Zeno. So they're finally acknowledging it. Uh, that's what I was going to say. I think this is his black Messian outfit. So that's pretty dumb. I, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Uh, it's cool. 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 Three drop critical overrun for three. Finally, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. Let me play this card. Uh, with overrealm place up to the top three uh, cards from your, the top of the deck into drop area. So you play it for three, mass saying critical, another target for it. You don't pay any energy and you get to place three from the top of the deck in the drop area. So now you have potential to do a scientist foo next round after using mass saying um, or just helping your milling effect and as well as sparking. So you don't even have to use this in mass saying or anything else like that, but it is a very good card just so you can have overrealm and keep your sparking stuff going. Thanks, Bandai. Danger, oh baby. I like this art. <laughs> uh, Dangerous Journey, Bulma. Auto, when you play this card, your leader card is a Shenron leader. You choose up to three battle cards from energy costs of three or more in your, in your drop area and shuffle them into your deck and draw one card. It's a pretty good card in, in the effect of um, recycling stuff that you need to search out and play. Um, I mean, I can imagine for any Shenron leader, uh, because it, is, it does search for different things like that. I mean, I can see that. Right now, I can't think of anything, but if you can think of something, let me know in the comments. Two star Dragon Ball, so, uh, or two star ball, whatever. Uh, more and more balls are gonna be coming out. <laughs> this is gonna throw me off when it says one, but it has, it has a two star, so. <laughs> uh, I do really like this card. It's gonna be, I wanna say problematic, um, but I, I do say this is really good. Uh, but the activate main, uh, well, one is a Dragon Ball card, and you use you can have as many as as many as, the, you, as you want as long as it doesn't exceed seven. So you can have seven Dragon Balls. Uh, you can have the the zero cost draw, or you can have any of the ones that are becoming out, like four costs of these. Uh, so different approaches for different things, right? The activate main for this man. Um, uh, oh, huh. Okay, now I understand. Noms, if you're watching this, I can understand what you're saying now. So this one says uh, the Dragon Balls, you can include as many Dragon Balls in your deck as long as it doesn't exceed seven. But does that include um, sideboard? Which I think for me, my answer still is uh, it doesn't include sideboard because uh, it just says deck. So, hmm. But the same thing for super combos. You can only have seven or four, I mean. Huh. Okay, summon uh, level two judge, level three, level 10. Let me know. Choose up to one of your uh, opponent's battle cards with two or less and KO it. Uh, so one cost, KO, that's good stuff. Uh, fortune teller, fortune teller, Baba, Earth Seer. Like she sees things, I guess. Uh, it's a dash pack. Uh, when you play this card and you, uh, when you play this card auto uh, for one drop, one K, wow. Uh, fitting for Baba though. Uh, choose up to one of your Earthling cards in the leader of battle area, including Yamcha or whatever, uh, and gains a 5k power for the racing turn. Cool. Uh, good, good for good for Yamcha because now you're swinging for critical tw uh, 15, 20,000. So there you go. Um, or more. Uh, when you combo this card from the battle area, choose or draw one card and then choose up 
to up to one of your opponent's battle cards um, and it gains negative 5k. So it loses 5k power with duration in turn. So duration in turn, okay, that's good. At least it's not the battle. Um, but that's really good. A lot of good value here. That's really good. If it was just this, it would be all right. But because it has two different effects, that's a good That's a good promo there. That's a good promo. Janemba, Janemba. So now we have a uh, Series 5 Super Dash Pack Leader. That's right. That is a leader right there. You can include cards with energy costs of five or more are in the deck. So already that's kind of a little silly, but I can understand if they want to stick to the Janemba archetype and just anything that's not too crazy. Um, but pretty cool. This card attacks, draw one card and place two cards from the top of the opponent's deck into the drop area. This might be a problem, but I love it a hundred percent. This is a flip to uh, active mode. And uh, on the Awakened side, it's Relentless Speed Janemba. And when you this card attacks, draw one card and place two cards from the opponent's deck into the drop area. Just remember that we are in an energy and draw heavy game. And when we introduce a milling effects like this, it is going to be annoying as fuck. And the thing is, is that this leader has all of the Janemba support. It has all of the blue support and is rightfully so a promo card. And I think this is going to be awesome. Anyway, when this card is attacked, you may blue. Wow. You may place a one blue card from your hand into the drop area. If you do so, negate the attack and oh, it's just for the duration of the game. That's silly. Uh, cool. I guess. Hmm, why'd you have to do that though? Why'd you have to do that? Whatever, still really good, really good leader. I'll probably be playing it. Infer Inferno Forged Hellfighter 17. I am a little salty that this is a character of Hellfighter 17, but there are two different 17s in the GT slash uh, Super 17 saga. Um, so I'm not mad, whatever, dual tech, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Negating uh, Fist Super Saiyan Blue, Son Goku. Uh, it's a two drop, hey. 15k counter attack play this card and negate the attack just like Roshi dope um, Activate main three yellow place this card in a drop error choose one up to ha, one skillless Saiyan battle card with energy cost of three or less in your drop area and play it so that could be um, um, Yeah, anything as far as the the new vanillas as far as the Gogeta and yes that does include the main man, the champion yellow Goku. So now you have a reason to play him, I guess, but it's literally just like playing him. I would much rather have this man at two yellow, so that way you can cheat it out for one more, one less energy. Uh, but whatever, I guess. But it does say drop area or deck. Cool. I mean, wait, hold on. It says, yeah, from your deck or drop area, and then shuffle your drop area. That's, that's okay, thanks. <laughs> one star brawl um so your leader card is a shenron card leader okay draw one card and then choose one card from your opponent or from your hand and place in the drop area and then uh choose one card from their hand and place in the drop area so you can have four of these um you could have seven of them so yeah, technically you could be drawing seven in one turn with seven energy and then um and then that's it like this that's all you can really do there you go um, cool card, cool card. I mean, this is gonna be a, a hard to get promo, by the way, because you, since you have, you can have seven. Uh, people are gonna be wanting these and trying that out. I don't know if you could ever be playing seven of them <laughs> in one turn, but you, you get the gist. Like you could just, you get to repeatedly um, drop cards as far as that goes. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have access to stuff like um, Overrun, where you get to do that over and over because you get that. You're gonna have to be using. Um, this card in order to get into the drop and then use the, the Shenron leader effect in order to um, uh, send him out of the game um, but that's pretty much it let me see, uh, let me just see uh, overall all the dash packs are or all the promo cards are actually pretty dope um, I, I don't have any kind of qualms about them uh, I don't think anything is crazy silly uh, I don't think I miss anything either let me just double check as far as everything else goes Nope, I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Uh, all these are all the SRs that I kind of already went over in this video or the last. Um, but yeah, the next one is going to be all of the green cards and SRs. I don't know why they uh, have a separate one for SRs when we already know all of them. Uh, and then the green cards are probably going to be have a lot, have going to have a lot of the GT stuff and uh, Android stuff. 
So I'm very excited for all that, and it's gonna be awesome. We don't know what the secret rare is, but if I had to take a guess, it's gonna probably be a Gogeta. I mean, it's gonna be, uh, it's probably gonna be one of those. Um, that's it. If anything, let me know what you think of all of these cards. Let me know about all the stuff that I discussed in this video and the last two, um, and I will see you in the next one, or in Vegas. Later.